this week, Boris lost a game with Rick Fox. The loser, my husband, had to post his cell phone number on Instagram. Here's what happened this morning. The reason we're asking call. that is because... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello? Oh my gosh, this is Boris? One minute. Are you ready for them to date? Hello? Boris? Okay, Melissa, have he, has he ever pranked Hello? you? Hello? Boris? Oh my god, oh my god. Just... Hello? 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 How are you? Who's this? Boris Kujo, hi. It's not Boris Kujo, it's Boris Kojo. 46 calls in the last minute. Hi, who's this? Where are you from? Hi, who's this? 61 calls. Is Nicole with you? Who are you trying to reach? <laughs> no, I don't Hello? want to Hello, who's this? Show. Boris here, how you doing? <laughs> Hello? Right I'm glad I got your call. Bye. Bye. Whose idea was this to do all this <laughs> during the got briefing? got me breaking out in the sweat. I'm trying to manage all the calls. Smith is in the house. <laughs> Celebrity stylist Lloyd Boston is helping some men get their swag back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, baby. So, I mean, your, your cell phone number's been on the air uh, for three days now. <laughs> And uh, I think you're getting a little too used to this. Well, first of all, all these women calling you <laughs> constantly. Whose fault, sister, is that, huh? Whose fault is that? Please, you are—you lost the game with Rick Fox, and now I'm the one suffering. Well, it was your idea to put my cell phone number on blast. No, so. that was somebody in the producing team that came up with that one. I was like, no, no. Well, the phone has been ringing <laughs> off the hook. I mean, this one is now like in the bathroom. Hello, hello. No, this is—you go got two days, ladies. Two days. <laughs> Hysterical. It's been nonstop, by the way. Thank you guys so much for calling. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. I did not appreciate losing the game to Rick Fox. But you're but, getting uh, like a free week of girlfriends. Like I have a whole pass for a week, so call me. <laughs> <laughs> Text well, messages. Okay, and, we got it. Anyway, pictures. <laughs> All right. A lot of pictures I'm getting. You know. You know who you are. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> On yesterday's show, we talked about six-time Wimbledon champion. Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Okay. <laughs> Wimbledon champion, our girl Serena Williams. Yes. 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 Amazing. Go, sis. Yeah. She was being attacked on the internet uh, for uh, with body shaming and mean tweets. Now, Disgusting. this online body shaming is such a horrible epidemic, but a lot of women are standing up and fighting back. That's right. That's right. And one woman in particular, Michelle Thomas, didn't take kindly to the comments made, you know, after her first Tinder date. So she was told by this jerk who was from, uh, I guess, from her native England, I think you're the prettiest girl I've ever met. But my mind gets turned on by somebody slimmer. He went on to saying, I have this awful feeling that when we get undressed, your body would let me down. That's what he said. And then he finished, I would marry you like a shot if you were a slip of a girl. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Then she responded. Yes, she did respond. <laughs> <laughs> Quote, I want to encourage your daughter to love, enjoy, and care for her body. It belongs to her and only her. Praise her intellect and her creativity. Push her to push herself and to be fearless. Yes. Wait. She's not done. Get this. But then she ended with, Simon, kiss my exquisitely unmarriageable ass. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Michelle! <laughs> you know, people just love, they just love making inappropriate or unwelcome <sighs> comments, you know, and, and it doesn't matter. You know, it happens to parents of small children all the time that people just come up to you on the street and start asking you about their hair and the clothes uh, and the stroller and the food and why are you feeding them out of that kind of bottle uh, and don't you know that dropping the thing and No, that's usually your mother and... who says these no. things. <laughs> 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 oh, my mother. It seems like from
from the second you have a child, you know, everybody wants to chime in and, and tell you how to raise them. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. So we've definitely had our share through the years. Yeah, now uh, this mommy blogger in Melbourne, Australia, got so fed up with the constant <laughs> advice and questions I she was getting, this. she added these notes in her kids' strollers. Check this out. So these are little cards with all the pre-written answers. Check this out. Because she gets asked these questions all the time, she said, yes, they are mine. <laughs> yes, they are twins. Yes, they're both girls. No, not identical. <laughs> Yes, I know they look alike, though. Yes, I am sure they aren't identical. Uh, tell us what led you to doing this, Annie. Annie, are you there? There she is. Yes. Hi, Annie. Hello. So I, I totally get your frustration, Annie. Uh, what led you to doing this? I have four friends that have twins as well, and we all have the same frustrations. 90% um, of people are so lovely and they are just inquisitive and just curious and twins are an amazing thing but sometimes people can get really, really nosy and sometimes, you know, we're just really busy and I sometimes might be running to a train and people will stand in the footpath and stop me and talk to me or my kids might be... My kids might be biting each other and fighting and they don't know when to set, you know, end the conversation. So, yeah. <laughs> so we know, we know this was a joke, but don't you want to, like, try and see what happens when people read these answers? Well, I've had a huge response. Um, I just, the photo is staged and I sort of put it up saying, wouldn't you like to do this? But um, if I actually did my time again, I don't think I would have um, sworn on it, which has had some um, negative reaction, especially from well, people in Britain. Of course, over two million people checked out your picture in just a few <laughs> days. I think you really yeah, hit a like, nerve. Yeah, it was like um, 2.5 million in two days. It was unbelievable. And it just started with, like, in between my friends. So, yeah, um, I suppose the bit that says about their conception, which I get asked <laughs> continuously, was just um, my frustration because um, my friends have IVF children and people are so nosy about it and they're made to constantly feel in inadequate and there's nothing wrong with having IVF. Um, so that's why I did that. Annie, thank you so much for joining Thanks us Thanks for today. coming. Don't hurry. Bye, Annie. Thank Bye. you so much. You know, I'm... Thanks for calling in. I personally have this problem about you. About what? Yeah, about being married to you. Oh, the questions? Oh, yeah. What are some of the questions Since you get? Since day one, okay? And I made my little poster board, a little poster board of my own. Oh, hold it up. Yes, he is that fine. <laughs> Even off the red carpet. Yes, we met on Soul Food. No, we didn't do to do during the show. <laughs> do to do. We did it after. <laughs> yes, he is a gentleman. Yes, he takes out the trash. Yes, he is a great dad. Yes, he works out, but only 20 to 30 minutes a day. Yes, he really is German. And yes, it was love at first sight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's so sweet. You, really, you did that? that yeah, so he didn't sweet. know I was going to do that. You forgot it. one thing. What? Yes, he is good. Oh, oh what is he saying? I mean, you oh know. My God. Are... <laughs> I wanted to talk about this because Boris and I have been spending a lot of time together. You know, we're working together and going home together and cooking together and taking care of the kids together. I mean, there's a lot of togetherness and so. <laughs> and so there was a study that I found that says that long distance couples are, are happier. And I mean, I, I just want to know what you think about that. Are, are you happier when, when, I'm, when I'm gone? You... I don't remember you being gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy right now. No, of course not. I'm, I'm super. Okay. Well, then how about. But then... <laughs> Well, then, okay, if we're not gone, you know, what did they say? When you don't sleep in the same room all the time, it keeps the spice 
alive. You know, it says like, you know, people have more sex when they don't sleep together all the time. And um, people really? say their partner snores. Don't you even talk about tell on my business. <coughs> and then, you know, if even by 2015, 60% of houses were built with two master suites. That's interesting. Yes. In I, modern times, people already know going into this long commitment, I know I'm going to need my own bathroom, at least my own closet, you yeah. know? Do you think we should sleep? I should sleep downstairs in the guest room, do you think? Well, okay, w what you guys need to know about her is that she loves to, when I go to sleep, when I want to go to sleep, she loves to read and, and No, no, has, no, that's not what I'm talking she has about. Law do you order think we're going to have more uh, <laughs> if I, I sleep downstairs? Well, I mean, if I, can I come downstairs and knock at the door? <laughs> You want, Am I allowed to? You want to? We'll try it and see how it goes. <laughs> we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we need to take a break, and we'll be right back with the sexy cast of Devious Men. We're about to go on the Boris and Nicole show. Así que no se vayan. It's a Netflix hot in air. Tune in. Yes, Devious Mates. Lunes, Lunes de la noche. Lifetime. Thank you. are one of the most caliente casts on TV. Their hit Lifetime series, Devious Maids, follows a group of feisty Latinas pursuing their dreams in Hollywood. Take a look. I, I can't. I have, I have plans, plans with, with my, my wife. wife. I'm sorry, I'm okay, but things will be different once I leave Jacqueline. But that's never going to happen. It is, okay? I told you I have a plan. But you won't tell me what the plan is. It's better if you don't know. Because there is no plan! No. There is a plan. Come on, Sebastian. I'm Carmen Luna. I'm not stupid. And I'm a Sebastian Dussault, and I'm not lying. Just trust me on this, okay? Mmm. I've put my career on hold long enough for you. So, let me know when that plan works out. <laughs> Please welcome Rosalyn Sanchez, Ana Ortiz, Christian De La Fuente, and Gilles Marini. Ça va, tout va bien? Ça va bien, moi aussi. Ah non, il fait gagner son bonheur. Bienvenido, lindas. Ladies, you both are Puerto Rican. Christian is Chilean. And Gilles is French. So, who do you think has the sexiest accent? Uh -oh. I don't know who has the sexiest accent. Who would that be? Gilles, I think. Gilles. No. Gilles yeah. Marini. Can you just say it's French? It's always French. Nicole. You don't need me. He speaks perfectly French. It's no, but he doesn't <laughs> say it like that. Oh, no. He's got no accent. Oh, really? It's insane. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't say it like that. I don't say it like that, huh? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Anna, um, you. When, when you first heard about the script, mm -hmm. uh, about these uh, Latina maids, mm -hmm. what was your first thought? Honestly, my first thought was like a big eye roll. I'm like, oh, mm. really? We're doing this? I mean, Latin women, this is going to be our role on TV. Um, but as soon as I read the script, and as soon as I spoke to Eva, and as soon as I knew who was yeah. sort of going to be in the ensemble, I loved it. I fell in love with the script. I fell in love with the characters. I think Eva Longoria, who's our executive producer, yes. she, she would never put us in a position where we were doing something demeaning, demeaning the or, culture. Or, yeah. yeah, and instead we're sort of uplifting it. We have all the power, and, and it's, it's been a lot of fun. Do you think that more shows uh, like that are going to pop up? Now? Don't you? I mean, of I'm course. reading all the scripts that are it's coming. It's all about in. diversity now. You know, yeah. no, no. Every network wants to tap into the Latino demographic. Yeah. You know, and they yeah. don't know how to do it. And I think Divis Maze was an opportunity mm -hmm. for that to happen. And and now that we're doing so well as part of the Lifetime family, of course, every single network <laughs> they all want the Latino project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 In a way, you know, sorry, in a, in a way, it has to be because at the end of the day, TV is a reflection of society. If mm -hmm. you have one out of seven. Americans living here, being a Latino, you can't have shows without Latinos. That cannot happen. Right. So, yeah. we have but usually it takes a long time for Hollywood to catch up. 
Yes. Yes. I mean, yeah. I mean yeah. you know, it, it's true. Many years ago, we were dead the first five minutes of the show. We were dead the first ten minutes. He did a movie, and he was the only black guy in the movie, and he lasted like for a whole the whole movie. And someone said, "Yes, the brother didn't die." We're making progress. We've come a long way. We've come a long way. I usually read scripts. Uh, uh, I start in the end and, and, and look at when I die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and if it's in the first 20 pages, I say, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. it. <laughs> well, your character, Carmen, was written for someone who they said was a Rosalind Sanchez type. Yeah. You know, it's there can be and only one. one of my type on me. And, you know, <laughs> they were trying to make it an That's age crazy. thing. They were like, well, she's eight years younger. You're like, but I am Rosalind Sanchez. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you know, I mean, what it, made you go in to audition for the role? I read it, and immediately I was like, oh, my God, Carmen. I'm Carmen. You know, that's yes. what I want to do. And I told my, um, my... Agent. My agent. Am I, am I, I was expecting, like, am, am I going to get an offer? <laughs> <laughs> and they're yeah. like, they don't want to see you. Like, what do you mean? Oh, oh, that's what terrible. Carmen Luna. Uh, and, I'm Carmen yeah. Luna. The yeah. character description literally said, Rosalind Sanchez. But yeah. we don't want to yeah, see yeah, you. Yeah, because Mark that's said, I wrote, I wrote it for Rosalind eight years younger. I'm going, what does that mean? And I was like, you know, I really want it, so I'm going to go in, and She's I'm going to show them. I look exactly the same. <laughs> 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 and I do something like, better. <laughs> I just had a baby, so it was, I was a little insecure. Because yeah. I'm thinking, maybe it's because they think I just had a baby. Maybe right. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah. And I went in, and I said, guys, I, I want it. What do I have to do? Yeah. Yeah. You know, and yeah. it happened. Well, that's, that's, that's what we have to do sometimes. Yeah. If you really fight want something, it. you got to fight yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. well, I'll come hey, you sure you look eight you. years younger, no matter what. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Ten years younger. What are you talking about? Come on now. Eight, eight, and you had a baby? Eight, eight. Please. Well, <laughs> Christian, you, you and Rosalind, you, you both stepped away from the USA pageant a while back. And, you gotta clap uh, that one. Yes. Yeah. Why, no, but why was it why was it so important for you guys to 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 say no? We're not doing that. It's a part of you that you have to trust your guts and, and trust who you are, and you cannot do things that are against what you really think in life. You know, like doing that would be great for the job, but at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna feel right with myself because oh, you know the things that he said about immigrants and not only Mexicans you know I'm, I'm a Latino that came here mm. finding my looking for my dream and trying to to have a better life for my family like all the immigrants and yeah. and we're not all drug dealers or rapists so <laughs> so it was a very sad thing and and I, I couldn't be involved in that show. Mm. Christian, you, you called him a clown. After giving it thought, I really regret calling him a clown. Why is what? that? Because I have a lot of respect for clowns. So. <laughs> that, was, that was phenomenal. Uh, okay, uh, let's... Gilles, um, shifting gears. Uh, Gilles, you, you often play the... The heartthrob. The like, sex, like my the sex, husband. Woo! The, the, the sex. Oh, look at him. Hello. Just casually leaning in the door frame naked. Okay, uh, take a picture like this, for example. What were you doing? I don't remember. <laughs> I was probably drunk somewhere. <laughs> Because you have this image. Is it hard for you to live up to that image? Thank God for that tree back now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know what? I, it's or does funny. it get on your nerves? That's it what could I be, know. you know what I mean. Yes. You know, it's you know, it's, you know it's Hollywood. I mean. yeah. Yeah. Look at that hot yeah. 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 It's so difficult for you to be <laughs> this hot. I mean, so, so. <laughs> I mean, no. But my mom, I, I, I just actually went to see my mom for a couple of weeks, and I was oh, I'm always kind of, you know, going toward this type of parts and stuff. And my mom just casually said, oh, pfft, kind of stuff, you know. Complaining. Being complaining, just yeah. Uh, yeah. enjoy it while it lasts because at 75 years old, nobody's gonna want to see you like that. So. <laughs> there you go. See, that's, I think that's, that's good. Uh, Keep the attitude. Yes, yeah. yes. And moms, moms always uh, bring you right back to earth. Okay. Mothers are always right. Exactly. That's right. Well, we have to take a quick break. When we come back, the cast is going to air their dirty laundry. Ooh. Devious maids, Rosalind Sanchez, Ana Ortiz, Christian de la Fuente, and Gilles Marini. I'm having so much fun. Wow. Anna, do you think you can tell us what the viewers can expect for the next season in six seconds as a Vine video? Oh, yeah, we can do that. Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, God. Uh, bueno. and, and go. Hot men. 
Fabulous outfits. Mujeres guapas. Les femmes magnifiques. A mystery. Sex. Suspenso. Murder. Show, in a nutshell. That's what I should have. <laughs> well, Rosalind, most, yes. most of the cast is fluent in Spanish or French. Or, yes. Um, do you guys sometimes just talk in your native language to piss people off? Or? They do. And I like, we do. We do. No, oh, wait, we want to say something that we don't want the crew or the director or the producer. Mostly the director and the producer. I know. We yeah. like go on and on and on. La la the last uh, episode with Tara, with the director, yeah. um, we were like talking so much rubbish. <laughs> and then we go back to the village where the, all the. Mm -hmm. Producers and mm -hmm. directors, and we're like, did you hear anything we said? And then she goes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't understand it, though. So. Well, well, you have to understand. She understands something. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yeah. Well, on your show, your so. characters are always gossiping about each other and dishing the dirt. So we th thought we'd try to get you guys to uh, tell a little dirt about each other Aye. in real life. Oh, in no. a little game called Dirty Laundry. <laughs> so, okay, here's how it works. You'll each have to go up to the clothesline. And tell us which castmate, take a card, and tell us which castmate is guilty of the bad behavior. And one more thing, since your show is hot and spicy, if you don't want to answer the question, you have to take a shot of hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> so, bring in the hot sauce. Bring in the hot sauce. Here hot we sauce. go. Oh my God. And this sauce is hot. Oh God, I don't have spice. I'm going to die. Come on. I'm going to die. It's okay. Are you ready I'm to German. play yes, right, 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 right. Okay. Yes. All right. Jesus. You're the first to pick a card. Go ahead. Okay, I'll uh, pick a card. I like this thing over there. Okay, take it. I know, right? yeah, there's, there's one here. Come on. <laughs> okay, read it out. Oh my God, who's most who's most likely to forget their lines? Oh, oh. I know. I know. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We know. Come on. Is it Anna? I, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I know. Uh, uh, you don't want to say? say? Rosaline. No. Why is it why? Why are you taking it? Oh, because I wanted it. to see. Oh my God, it's a spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you take it? I, because I wanted to take it. His friend, she didn't understand the no, words. No, I understood. But I just listen, wanted... that no, was no, a lie. I no, know no. my lines all the time. <laughs> no, no, but they're no. fighting. Okay. I like it. They're Christian, fighting. you're next. <laughs> Christian, you're next. Christian, 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 Christian is next. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not Good gonna job. be as complicated as you. There you go, right in front. Okay. My God, this is hot. He's crazy. Oh. Okay. If acting doesn't work out, who's mostly likely to become a stripper? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Ah. Gee. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, okay, I'm sorry. Rosalind. Bring it, bring it. Okay, there you go. No, no, no. We just changed the rules. I am saying you are Who on stage has the best body? Oh, the girl. Oh, right. God. oh my God, it's spicy. Okay. <laughs> who has the best body? I have to say it? Yeah, of course. Oh! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. It's we okay if you don't want to say it. Okay. No, okay. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Don't okay. say it. No, I'm going to say you. Say you. Say you. Carmen Luna, for sure. But <laughs> that's, that's his <laughs> No, somebody here. Listen, <laughs> Carmen Luna is here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Who has the best body? Okay, have the shot. If you don't, have the shot. You don't want to say it. They have ridiculous bodies. But I'm going to say, because you post a lot of stuff at the gym. You don't have to say it. Christian. 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 She doesn't have Okay, Anna. Anna's turn. Anna's turn. Guys, they have crazy bodies. Oh, who's <laughs> <laughs> who's most likely to leak nude photos of themselves? Oh. Don't look at me. Hey. Oh. <laughs> 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 Let's take another shot. Yeah. 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 I don't think it's accidental. Are you okay? You oh, I'm fainting. Are you okay? No, I thought so. Anna, Christian, and Gilles for giving us the final. We'll be right back. Hey, you guys. I'm hanging out with my buddies, Boris and Nicole, the best new talk show on Fox, you guys. I love you, Boris. I love you, Nicole. You guys are rock stars. Mwah. You fell in love with our next guest, when she starred in the hit Tyler Perry film, Why Did I Get Married? Now, these days, she's finding even more success on the hit TV series, Empire, and for better or worse. You can also find her standing by her man in the drama series, Power. Take a look. Oh. Look what I found.
What are you doing? That's for being loyal. baby daddy. <laughs> Let's talk about your baby daddy, honey. <laughs> okay. Your baby's daddy. Congratulations. Thank you. I am wow. so happy for Thank you guys. You. you guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank now you get to do what you do every day on TV. That's Fight. right. I like <laughs> Well, you've been working on two of the hottest new TV shows yes. on the planet, I, Empire I, and Power. On. Give I, it up. I, I mean, can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'm we so have blessed. Sat, we have sat in those waiting rooms together. Yes, absolutely. For so many years. Yes. And now it's just an abundance of I mean, of it's amazing. Blessings. I mean, I am lucky enough to be the baby mama of 50 Cent, okay? One of the <laughs> finest. One of the other finest men on TV. Yes. And um, also to work with that amazing creative team on Empire. It is so wonderful, and I'm having such a good well, time. Well, you deserve every minute of it, Thank Tasha. You. You're amazing. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely. Now, uh, I want to talk about some things that have been going on in your private life a little bit. Okay. You gave me permission, too. Okay. So, <laughs> you went through a very uh, public breakup. Mm -hmm. You went through a very rough time, and I wanted to ask you, how did you feel with all of that out there like that, being scrutinized while you were in the midst of it? It was shocking to me because I couldn't believe it, but at the same time, I was able to just stay true to who I know I was and who my friends know me to be. Mm. And that's all that mattered. And I gotta tell you, it was the best experience of my life, and it still is. My life has gotten so much better since then. I'm stronger, yes. I'm happier, yes. I look good. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Tasha, you, you play these incredibly strong female characters on TV and, and in movies. We did a movie together not, not Which long one? ago. Which one? Addicted. A, addicted. But unfortunately, oh, yes, yes, yes. I didn't yes. get a chance to sleep with your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe next time. Um, jokes, jokes. Oh my God. Joking. But you know what? Just that would be disgusting. Jokes. That would be disgusting, jokes. though, because she's like my sister. He's oh, like no. a brother. Yeah, no, no. And that's disgusting to have to, yes. like, have you it is. Yes. I with Dwayne Martin one time, mm. and we had to be in bed together, and I was like, don't touch me. <laughs> Do not <laughs> let your skin touch me, okay? Okay, well, well okay, you use those characters. You use yes. your, 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 well, you use your real life experience. Yes. To infuse in those characters, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You know, I believe as an actor, everything that we've gone through could be utilized to help tell the stories we need to tell. I feel experience, life experience, gives us more compassion. And as long as we have that ability to just connect to humanity through our own experiences, we can never lose. Mm. And so I'm excited when I go through stuff, honey. I'm like, oh, I could use that for something. <laughs> well, well you, yeah. you, you talk about acting in such a yeah. passionate way. I, I get asked, uh, uh, often, um, how do you get into it, and what do I need to do? And and when you get asked these kind of questions, what do you tell uh, aspiring actors and actresses who've heard of Hollywood as being this dark, you know, difficult, dangerous place? Uh, uh, would you be encouraging, or what would you say? I would be encouraging because I think it's just about any business that we all have to have a very healthy mentality to be able to do. You know, acting is no different than if you want to be a doctor. Learning what it takes to understand yeah. how to read scripts, to audition, all those things. But T, mm. you also have a very strong spiritual toolbox too. Absolutely, and, as you Nick. And you would have. I've seen you encourage young people to get their spiritual toolbox in order yes. because you're going to be knocked down in this business. Absolutely. Absolutely. Over and over and over again. Absolutely. But after seven no's, you will hear yes. a yes. Like, I have this yes. one uh, motivational word. It, it's a scripture that says, Not to grow weary while doing good, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. So the key is not to quit. Tosh, thank you yes. for being here, baby. Thank you thank so much. Thank you so boss. much. And thank you can, you. I thank know, you. she's amazing. You can catch Tosh up on power.
on the Stars Network. When we come back, celebrity stylist Lloyd Boston is going to help two outdated men get their swag back. Don't go away. <laughs> to change their man in one way or another. <coughs> Especially when it comes to what they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Well, today we have two women who say that not only do their men need a style change, but they're in desperate need of some swag. <laughs> so we brought in some reinforcement. Please welcome our friend and style expert, Lloyd Boston. Hey. Hey. What's up? Good to be here. <laughs> Well, uh, so Lloyd, I hear you had your work cut out for you today, but um, before we get to revealing the magic you made, let's meet our first guest, Jetta. Hi, Jetta. Hi, Jetta. Jetta, you're about to get married. Yes. yes. <laughs> so, what's going on with your fiance, Brady, right now? Well, right now, he's actually in the motion of coming out of his depression. I'm trying to help him you know, with the, um, with his appearance. And right now, he's really being depressed about how he looks. So you said he, to... he just came out of a depression? What... Yes, um, he wasn't working for a long time, uh -huh. so. Well, what did he look like when you first met? What was his personality like? Um, he was bubbly, you know, he always liked to giggle and laugh about everything. So, so what are you hoping for? I'm hoping that he regains his confidence, you know. Yes. Um, and be the person that I met you know, back yeah. when, and fell in when love we with. first, right, when we first. Fell. Yes, so Lloyd, what do, you, what do you think? Well, the trick is with guys, you want to do the bait and switch. So you want to find out what they love wearing and just do better versions of the same oh. thing. Oh. Okay. You don't want to put them in a tux if he loves wearing sweatpants, that's right. the trick. Well, let's okay. see what he looked like before. Okay. Oh, wow. But, you know, he's an average American guy. Yep. You know, a little extra around the middle. I have that. <laughs> Boris doesn't, of course. Because no, I know he does crunches all night. We know how this guy works. <laughs> yes, that's all I do. Little right? extra around the middle, cargo shorts, you know, socks, and a little croc on the bottom. He's a comfortable, well, average guy. This is how he is right now, you're saying. Yes. This is his depressed, low self-confidence position that he's in right now. Lloyd, sh let's see how your magic worked on Brady now. Come on out. Brady, come on out. Look at Brady. All this new swag. You know, Brady has a new pose he's been doing all backstage. Show us that hot new swag pose. Yeah, uh, there you he's go. feeling there it. You go. Yeah. What okay. we did here is I ran straight to Men's Warehouse because he is a guy that has a lot to love. You know, he's got a little around the middle. Okay. Most guys have that. So we did monochromatic underneath. Mm -hmm. Navy blue sweater, dark rinse jeans. Mm -hmm. So it gives the illusion of a long, clean line. Yeah. He's doing a driving mock on the bottom. Sockless. That's fashion short for moccasin. There you go, driving yes. lock on the bottom. He's got the little hat tilted to the side, little pocket square, nice. and a really soft corduroy blazer that he can wear pretty much year round, especially indoors. And look so at that smile. Yeah. Hey, He's a good looking guy. There you yeah. go. You're getting married in all this great. Do you think this is going to give you the boost to get your swag back? Oh, of course. I told him, I said, Lloyd, I play for bread and meat. If I don't win, I don't eat. <laughs> well, thank you so much, you both, for being here. Let's meet our next guest, Rena. There you go. Hi, Rena. Rena. Have a seat, Rena. Now, Rena, you've yeah. been married for six months, right? Yes, yes. And uh, what, what's the issue you seem to be having with your man? Well, my husband is a kindergarten teacher. Mm -hmm. And... And sometimes he doesn't dress like one. I mean, I love him so much, but um, but sometimes he dresses like a homeless person. Like a homeless person? <laughs> yeah. Wow, I mean, what, what is this? I, you... I, I even brought his pants with me. It's like, look at this. Is that duct tape? He, hold on, hold he uses, on, hold on. He hold fixed on, a that. hole in his pocket with duct tape. Yes. Wow, <laughs> wow. Yes. Oh, well, no, you're like, wow. Wow, okay. Well, this, you know, I, I mean, it's creative. That's what I appreciate. I appreciate in you this know? world of materialism that he's being nifty mm -hmm. and thrifty, and I kind of like that in a man. Well, well, what was he like before? 
Well, the thing is, we've been in um, long-distance relationships, so... You didn't know how deep the thrifty and nifty I was. Know. <laughs> yeah, and once you get married, they say, you know, everything gets magnified, so... Yes, that's well, do it. You, that's do you have I... some video? I think we have some video for us. Yeah. Hi, my name is Martin. I am an elementary school teacher. As you can see, I have no style. Uh, my clothes are all hand-me-downs because I hate to shop. I mend my own clothes with duct tape and... But I'm married now, and I'm, I'm tired of being complacent. Me and my wife agreed, uh, we, I need to step my game up. We would both be happier if I had some swag. I'm tired of looking like this. I'm asking for your help. Oh. Well, I love this. <laughs> Lloyd uh, he worked his magic again, so let's see um, what he looks like right now. Come on out. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Here. Oh, my inspiration here. My inspiration. That's right. Wow. Now you guys look like a couple. Look at you. Couple, right? well, well, how do you feel? How do you feel, Martin? I, you can feel the difference. I used to not think style was that important, but I feel some more pep but this in my This is comfortable. Style. You can do this, right? Yeah, I know I can. You feel like yourself. <laughs> Lloyd, explain to us what you did. Well, I went straight to H&M because he's a lean guy, yep. and it fits him beautifully. And my inspiration here was kind of pit bull. You getting a little pit bull out no. there, right? <laughs> you know, he wears glasses all the time, so I upgraded his ophthalmics to cool aviators, and these are from a great website called colorsandoptics.com. And what's so great about both of these looks, these guys get to keep everything from head to toe. Wow. Oh, nice. Oh, Rita, he's a handsome guy. Rita, how do you feel about Martin's new look? Oh, he's awesome. He's, he looks like a movie star. <laughs> We're not taking him too far out of his comfort zone. That's this right. is called the athleisure look, which is really hot right now. Athleisure. Athleisure. Oh, so it's a mix between tailored clothing on the top and an upgraded sweat pant on the bottom. So mm -hmm. we call it athleisure. So he's still comfortable, but he can still go out to dinner in this and look yeah. chic. So Martin, I, are you going to take Lloyd's advice and embrace your inner swag? I, I got my inner swag going. <laughs> I can feel it growing. It's growing <laughs> right now. It's growing by the minute. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah. Thank you to the extremely talented Lloyd Anytime. Boston. Can you at leisure fi my husband, please? I've been working on him for years. There's no hope over there. No hope. <laughs> well, check out his new book, The Style Checklist. And for more information about Lloyd's book and the looks you saw today, visit our Facebook page. We'll be right back. <laughs>
Priscilla's hair and she did all the curls in one direction. So that's the most important thing. She also took the wand all the way through the end to give this gorgeous, glamorous finish. And just held finish. the hair in place like that. Yes. And then the biggest key is to wait for the hair to cool and then just run your fingers and through you it. Do it gives it that really the beautiful zhuzh. look. The zhuzh up. Yes. Priscilla, how do you like your hair? I love it. I was going for sexy and I got it. <laughs> She tried time and time again to get that surfer girl beach wave look, but her hair just never held the curl. Uh, Leanne, you want to show us what you look like <laughs> now? Wow. Woo! Hey, Miss California. <laughs> How were you able to get her very, very straight hair to stay in this, this wavy, beachy look? Really good point. So Leanne shared with me she's a brand new mother. She does not have any time to be messing with the hair. Plus, curls don't really stay in fine, thin hair sometimes. But the new me one did. We just took different erratic small section, big sections, different yes, ways. Yes, the same direction with her, different directions with her, so she feels like she's been surfing and jogging Exactly, all she's day. got that effortless chic, hi, I just woke up like I this look. It. How do you like your hair, Leanne? I absolutely love it. I've never had curls that lasted like this. I mean, look at this, it's amazing. It's Sexy. amazing. Yeah. And our last look is Jasmine. Jasmine was invited to a red carpet event, but she had no idea how to achieve the glamorous look, and she's scared she's gonna have to end up putting her hair in a bun. So let's see her red carpet look now. Ooh! Wow! wow. Oh, oh, gorgeous! This is absolutely stunning. Michelle, tell us about this Hollywood glam look. What did Felicia do here? She pinned some up in the back. You know, she did. She started up with a little pinning up, but Jasmine really does have a very big red carpet awards show to go to. And she's like, help! So with the Numi wand, after a few little pins and yes, nips and tucks, then she was just in one direction, little pin curls. So close to the head, small, small sections. Everybody backstage, including all the producers, going bananas over the fact that that was done with a Numi wand. Jasmine, how do you feel? Do you feel red carpet ready? I feel like a celebrity. I'm Aww. so thankful to Numi wand. I can't wait to just do it myself because it's so easy. Yeah. Well, thank you, Felicia Leatherwood, for styling the girls, and thanks to Michelle for You're the Numi information. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. You're welcome. Yeah. his mind, but I also want to thank Eddie Zarazzi and for our beautiful flowers. Make sure to connect with us on Facebook. And uh, definitely make sure you're back here tomorrow when Nick Cannon joins us. Nick Cannon! <laughs> but before we go, let's get in a few hashtags. Hashtag swag back. Hashtag be nice online. Yes. Hashtag sexy maids. Hashtag spicy hunks. What? Hashtag hump day. Hashtag see you next time. Transportation provided by Jackson Limousine. On the planet, I, empire I, and power. On. Keep I, it up. I, I mean, can you believe it? Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm so blessed. Sat, we have sat in those waiting rooms together yes, absolutely. for so many years. Yes. And now it's just an abundance. I mean, of it's amazing. Blessings. I mean, I am lucky enough to be the baby mama of 50 Cent, okay? One of the <laughs> finest, one of the other finest men on TV. Yes. And um, also to work with that amazing creative team on Empire. It is so wonderful, and I'm having such a good well, time. Well, you deserve every minute of it, Thank Tasha. You. You're so amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Absolutely. Now, talk about some things that have been going on in your private life a little bit. Okay. You gave me permission to. Okay. So <laughs> you went through a very uh, public breakup. Mm -hmm. You went through a very rough time. And I wanted to ask you, how did you feel 
with all of that out there like that, being scrutinized while you were in the midst of it? It was shocking to me because I couldn't believe it, but at the same time, I was able to just stay true to who I know I was and who my friends know me to be. Mm. And that's all that mattered. And I gotta tell you, it was the best experience of my life, and it still is. My life has gotten so much better since then. I'm stronger, yes. I'm happier, yes. I look good. That's it! Okay? <laughs> Tasha, you, yeah. you play these incredibly strong female characters on TV and, and in movies. We did a movie together not, not Which long movie? ago. Which one? Addicted. A, addicted. But unfortunately, oh, yes, yes, yes. I yes. didn't get a chance to sleep with your husband. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe next time. Um, jokes, jokes. Oh, God, to be joking. But you know what? Just that would be disgusting. Jokes. That would be disgusting, jokes. though, because she's like my sister. He's oh, like God. a brother. Yeah, no, no. And that's disgusting to have to, yes. like, have you it is. Yes. I with Dwayne Martin one time, mm. and we had to be in bed together, and I was like, don't touch me. <laughs> Do not <laughs> let your skin touch me, okay? Okay, well, well okay, you use those characters. You use yes. your, 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 well, you use your real life experience. Yes. To infuse in those characters, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You know, I believe as an actor, everything that we've gone through could be utilized to help tell the stories we need to tell. I feel experience, life experience, gives us more compassion. And as long as we have that ability to just connect to humanity through our own experiences, we can never lose. Mm. And so I'm excited when I go through stuff, honey. I'm like, oh, I could use that for something. <laughs> well, well you, you, you talk about acting in such a yeah. passionate way. I, I get asked, uh, uh, often, um, how do you get into it, and what do I need to do? And and when you get asked these kind of questions, what do you tell uh, aspiring actors and actresses who've heard of Hollywood as being this dark, you know, difficult, dangerous place? Uh, uh, would you be encouraging, or what would you say? I would be encouraging because I think <laughs> We've come a long way. We've come a long way. I usually read scripts. Uh, uh, I start in the end and, and, and look at when I die. Yeah, yeah. I love it. And if it's in the first 20 pages, I say, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. it. Well, your character, Carmen, was written for someone who they said was a Rosalind Sanchez type. You know, <laughs> it's, there can be only one. No, one right. of my and, you know, they were trying to make it an <laughs> age crazy. thing. They were like, well, she's eight years younger. You're like, but I am Rosalind Sanchez. Isn't that funny? <laughs> you know I mean, what, what made you go in to audition for the role? I read it, and immediately I was like, oh, my God, Carmen. I'm Carmen. You know, that's yes. what I want to do. And I told my, um, my... Agent. My agent. Am I, am I, I was expecting, like, am, am I going to get an offer? <laughs> <laughs> and they're yeah. like, they don't want to see you. Like, what do you mean? Oh, oh, that's what terrible. Carmen Luna. Oh, I'm Carmen yeah. Luna. I the know. character description literally said, Rosalind Sanchez. But we don't want to see you. Because Mark said, I wrote, I wrote it for Rosalind eight years younger. I'm going, what does that mean? And I was like, you know what I really wanted, so I'm going to go in and She's I'm going to show them I look exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> and I just had a bad <laughs> And I just had a baby, so it was, I was a little insecure. Because yeah. I'm thinking, maybe it's because they think I just had a baby. Maybe right. I, I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah. And I went in, and I said, guys, I, I want it. What do I have to do? Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, and yeah. it happened. Well, that's, that's, that's what we have to do sometimes. Yeah. If you really fight want something, it. you got to fight yeah. for it. Mm -hmm. well, I'll come hey, you already look eight years younger, no matter what. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Ten years younger. What are you talking about? Yeah. Come on now. And you had a baby? Yeah. Please. Well, <laughs> Christian, you, you and Rosalind, you, you both stepped away from the USA pageant uh -huh. uh, a while back. Um, and, you gotta clap uh, for that one. Yes. Yeah. 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 Why, no, but why was, it, why was it so important for you guys to, to, to say, no, we're not doing that? It's a part of you that you have to trust your guts and, and trust who you are, and you cannot do things that are against what you really think in life, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, doing that would be great for the job, but at the end of the day, I wasn't gonna feel right with myself, because, oh, you know, the things that he said about immigrants, and not only Mexicans, you know, I'm, I'm a Latino that came here mm. finding my, looking for my dream and trying to, to have a better life for my family, like all the immigrants, and, yeah. and we're not all drug dealers or rapists, so, so it was a very sad thing, and, and I, I couldn't be involved in that show. Mm. Christian, you, you called him a clown. After giving it thought, I really regret calling him a clown. Why is what? that? Because I have a lot of respect for clowns. So. <laughs> <laughs> That was phenomenal. Uh, okay, uh, let's Gilles, see. Um, shifting gears. Uh, Gilles, you, you often play the, the heartthrob. The like, sex, like my the husband. Sex, Woo! The, the, the sex, oh, look at him. 
Hello. Just casually leaning in the door frame naked. <laughs> okay, uh, take a picture like this, for example. What will you do? Have the shot. If you don't, have the shot. You don't want to say it. They Two. have ridiculous bodies. But Senora. I'm going to say, because you post a lot of stuff at the gym. You don't have to oh. say it. <laughs> Who's most likely to leak nude photos of themselves? Oh. Don't look at me. Oh. 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 with my buddies, Boris and Nicole, the best new talk show on Fox, you guys. I love you, Boris. I love you, Nicole. You guys are rock stars. Mwah. You fell in love with our next guest when she starred in the hit Tyler Perry film, Why Did I Get Married? Now, these days, she's finding even more success on the hit TV series, Empire, and for better or worse. You can also find her standing by her man in the drama series, Power. Take a look. Oh. Look what I found. What are you doing? That's for being loyal. Baby daddy, <laughs> let's talk about your baby daddy, honey. <laughs> okay. Your baby's daddy. Congratulations. Thank you. I am wow. so happy for you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Thank now you get to do what you do every day on TV. That's Fight. right. I <laughs> Well, you've been working on two of the hottest new TV shows yes. on the planet, uh -uh. Empire and Come Power. On. Keep I, it up. I, I mean, Can you believe it? Oh, my gosh. I mean, I'm we so blessed. Sat, we have sat in those waiting rooms together yes, absolutely. for so many years. Yes. And now it's just another three days now. <laughs> And uh, I think you're getting a little too used to this. Well, first of all. All these women calling you <laughs> constantly. Whose My fault sister, is that? Huh? Please, you, are, is you lost the game with Rick Fox, and now I'm the one suffering. Well, it was your idea to put my cell phone number on blast, No, so. that was somebody in the producing team that came up with that one. I was like, no, no. Well, the phone has been <laughs> ringing off the hook. I mean, this one is now, like, in the bathroom. Hello? Hello? No, this is, go you got two days, ladies, two days. <laughs> Hysterical. It's been nonstop, by the way. Thank you guys so much for calling. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. I did not appreciate losing the game to Rick Fox. But you're but, getting uh, like a free week of girlfriends. Like I have a hall pass for a week, so call me. <laughs> <laughs> Text well, messages. Okay, and, we got it. Anyway, pictures. All right. A lot of pictures I'm getting. You know. You know who you are. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> On yesterday's show, we talked about six-time Wimbledon champion. Wimbledon. Wimbledon? Okay. <laughs> Wimbledon champion, our girl Serena Williams. Yes. yes. Amazing. Go, sis. Yeah. She was being attacked on the internet uh, for uh, with body shaming and mean tweets. Now, this Disgusting. online body shaming is such a horrible epidemic, but a lot of women are standing up and fighting back. That's right. That's right. And one woman in particular, Michelle Thomas, didn't take kindly to the comments made, you know, after her first Tinder date. Well, she was told by this jerk who was from, uh, I guess, from her native England, I think you're the prettiest girl I've ever met, but my mind gets turned on by somebody slimmer. He went on to saying, 
I have this awful feeling that when we get undressed, your body would let me down. That's what he said. And then he finished, I would marry you like a shot if you were a slip of a girl. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Then she responded. Yes, she did respond. <laughs> <clears throat> Quote, I want to encourage your daughter to love, enjoy, and care for her body. It belongs to her and only her. Praise her intellect and her creativity. Push her to push herself and to be fearless. Yes. Wait. She's not done. Get this. But then she ended with, Simon, kiss my exquisitely unmarriageable ass. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, Michelle! <laughs> love making inappropriate or unwelcome <sighs> comments, you know, and, and it doesn't matter. You know, it happens to parents of small children all the time that people just come up to you on the street and start involved with advanced technology as well as affordable prices. And it's easy to use. So easy to use and it works for virtually any hair type. By the way, the 25 millimeter, which is what we're using today, is also insanely universal for any length of hair. Love this. Tourmaline infused barrel, which means it's going to do its job. Hold the curl and it's quick and easy. I love this. So before the show, we found three very thankful audience members <laughs> who wanted to help who wanted help with a new do. So they've been backstage with celebrity hairstylist Felicia Leatherwood Yay. and we're ready to see their new look. I love this whole retro reveal we have going on. Our first audience member is Priscilla. Priscilla told us that her hair is coarse and she really wants to have a sexy look. Let's see her hair makeover now. Woo. Woo. Okay, so Felicia did her job. Look at this in the Numi Wan. So, so this is that cute. beautiful, sexy look. She took Priscilla's hair and she did all the curls in one direction. So that's the most important thing. She also took the wand all the way through the end to give this gorgeous, glamorous finish. And just finish. held the hair in place like that. Yes. And then the biggest key is to wait for the hair to cool and then just run your fingers and through you it. Do and it gives it that really the beautiful zhuzh. look. The zhuzh up. Yes. Priscilla, how gorgeous? do you like your hair? I love it. I was going for sexy and I got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Our next lady is Leanne. She tried time and time again to get that surfer girl beach wave look, but her hair just never held the curl. Uh, Leanne, you want to show us what you look like <laughs> now? Wow. Ooh. Hey, Miss California. <laughs> How were you able to get her very, very straight hair to stay in this, this wavy, beachy look? Really good point. So Leanne shared with me, she's a brand new mother. She does not have any time to be messing with the hair. Plus, curls don't really stay in fine, thin hair sometimes. But the Numi Wan did. We just took Different erratic small section, big sections, different yeah, so ways. Yeah, the same direction with her, different directions with her, so she feels like she's been surfing and jogging Exactly, all she's day. got that effortless chic. Hi, I just woke up like I this look. It. How do you like your hair, Leanne? I absolutely love it. I've never had curls that lasted like this. I mean, look at this. It's amazing. It's Sexy. amazing. Woo! And our last look is Jasmine. Jasmine was invited to a red carpet event. But she had no idea how to achieve the glamorous look, and she's scared she's going to have to end up putting her hair in a bun. So let's see her red carpet look now. Ooh, wow. wow! Oh, gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. Michelle, tell us about this Hollywood glam look. What did Felicia do here? She pinned some up in the back. You know, she did. She started up with a little pinning up, but Jasmine really does have a very big red carpet awards show to go to. And she's like, help! So with the Numi wand, after a few little pins and yes, nips and tucks, then she was just in one direction, little pin curls. So close to the head, small, small sections. Everybody backstage, including all says not to grow weary while doing good for in due season, you shall reap if you faint not. So the key is not to quit. Tosh, thank you yes. for being here, baby. Thank you thank so, you thank so you much. And thank you can, you, I know, you. she's amazing. You can catch Tosh up on Power on the Stars Network. When we come back, celebrity stylist Lori Boston is going to help two outdated men get their swag back. Don't go away. <laughs> to change their man in one way or another. <coughs> 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 <coughs>
especially when it comes to what they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Well, today we have two women who say that not only do their men need a style change, but they're in desperate need of some swag. So we brought in some reinforcement. Please welcome our friend and style expert, Lloyd Boston. Hey. Hey. What's up? Good to be here. <laughs> Well, uh, so Lloyd, I hear you had your work cut out for you today, but um, before we get to revealing the magic you made, let's meet our first guest, Jetta. Hi, Jetta. Hi, Jetta. <laughs> Jetta, you're about to get married. Yes. yes. <laughs> so what's going on with your fiance, Brady, right now? Well, right now, he's actually in the motion of coming out of his depression. I'm trying to help him you know, with the um, with his appearance, and right now he's really being depressed about how he looks. So you said he, he, he just came out of a depression? What? Yes, um, he wasn't working for a long time. Oh. So well, what did he look like when you first met? What was his personality like? Um, he was bubbly. You know, he always liked to giggle and laugh about everything. So, so what are you hoping for? I'm hoping that he regains his confidence. You know, yes, um, and be the person that I met. You know, back yeah. when and fell in when love we with. first, right when we first. Started. Yes. So, Lloyd, what do you what do you think? Well, the trick is with guys, you want to do the bait and switch. So you want to find out what they love wearing, and just do better versions of the same ah. thing. Ah. Okay. You don't want to put him in a tux if he loves wearing sweatpants. That's right. the trick. Well, let's okay. see what he looked like before. Okay. Oh, wow. But, you know, he's an average American guy. Yep. You know, a little extra around the middle. I have that. <laughs> Boris doesn't, of course. Because no, I know he does not. crunches all night. We know how this guy works. <laughs> yes, that's all I do. Little extra around the middle, cargo shorts, you know, socks, and a little croc on the bottom. He's a comfortable, <laughs> average guy. This is how he is right now, you're saying. Yes. This is his depressed, low self-confidence position that he's in right now. Lloyd, sh let's see how your magic worked on Brady now. Come on out. Brady, come on out. Look at Brady. All this new swag. And our good friend, applause, yes. And our good friend, Tasha Smith, is in the house. Hey, I'm in. Celebrity stylist Lloyd Boston is helping some men get their swag back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> three days now. <laughs> and uh, I think you're getting a little too used to this. Well, first of all... All these women calling you <laughs> constantly. Whose My fault sister, is that? Please, huh? Whose you, fault are, is that? you lost the game with Rick Fox, and now I'm the one suffering. Well, it was your idea to put my cell phone number on blast, No, so. that was somebody in the producing team that came up with that one. I was like, no! No! Well, the phone has been <laughs> ringing off the hook. I mean, this one is now, like, in the bathroom. Hello? Hello? No, this is go you got two days, ladies. Two days. <laughs> Hysterical. It's been nonstop, by the way. Thank you guys so much for calling. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. I did getting... not appreciate losing the game to Rick Fox. But you're but, getting uh, like a free week of girlfriends. Like I have a hall pass for a week, so call me. <laughs> <laughs> Text well, messages. Okay, and... we got it. Anyway, pictures. <laughs> All right. A lot of pictures I'm getting. You know. You know who you are. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> on yesterday's show, we talked about six-time Wimbledon champion. Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Okay. <laughs> Wimbledon champion, our girl Serena Williams. Yes. yes. Amazing. Go, sis. Yeah. She was being attacked on the internet uh, for uh, with body shaming and mean tweets. Now, this Disgusting. online body shaming is such a horrible epidemic, but a lot of women are standing up and fighting back. That's right. That's right. And one woman in particular, Michelle Thomas, didn't take kindly to the comments made, you know, after her first Tinder date. Well, she was told by this jerk who was from, uh, I guess, from her native England, I think you're the prettiest girl I've ever met, but my mind gets turned on by somebody slimmer. He went on to saying, I have this awful feeling that when we get undressed, your body would let me down. That's what he said. And then he finished, I would marry you like a shot 
if you were a slip of a girl. Okay. Yeah. So, um... Then she responded. Yes, she did respond. <laughs> <clears throat> Quote, I want to encourage you... And our good friend, applause, yes. And our good friend, Tasha Smith, is in the house. Hey, I'm in. Celebrity stylist Lloyd Boston is helping some men get their swag back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Baby, so, I mean, y your cell phone number's been on the air uh, for three days now. And uh, I think you're getting a little too used to this. Well, first of all... All these women calling you <laughs> constantly. Whose My fault sister, is that? Please, huh? Whose you, fault are, is that? you lost the game with Rick Fox, and now I'm the one suffering. Well, it was your idea to put my cell phone number on blast, No, so. that was somebody in the producing team that came up with that one. I was like, no, no. Well, the phone has been <laughs> ringing off the hook. I mean, this one is now, like, in the bathroom. Hello? Hello? No, this is go You got two days, ladies. Two days. <laughs> Hysterical. It's been nonstop, by the way. Thank you guys so much for calling. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. I getting... did not appreciate losing the game to Rick Fox. But you're but, getting, uh, like, a free week of girlfriends, like... I have a hall pass for a week, so call me. <laughs> <laughs> Text well, messages. Okay. And... Got it. Anyway, pictures. <laughs> All right. A lot of pictures I'm getting. You know. You know who you are. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> on yesterday's show, we talked about six-time Wimbledon champion. Wimbledon. Wimbledon. Okay. <laughs> Wimbledon champion, our girl Serena Williams. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Go, sis. She was being attacked on the internet uh, for uh, with body shaming and mean tweets. Now, Disgusting. this online body shaming is such a horrible epidemic, but a lot of women are standing up and fighting back. That's right. That's right. And one woman in particular, Michelle Thomas, didn't take kindly to the comments made, you know, after her first Tinder date. Well, she was told by this jerk who was from, uh, I guess, from her native England, I think you're the prettiest girl I've ever met. But my mind gets turned on by somebody slimmer. He went on to saying, I have this awful feeling that when we get undressed, your body would let me down. That's what he said. And then he finished, I would marry you like a shot if you were a slip of a girl. Okay. Depression. I'm trying to help him, you know, with, the, um, with his appearance. And right now, he's really being depressed about how he looks. So you said he, he, he just came out of a depression? What? Yes, um, he wasn't working for a long time. Uh -huh. so. well, what did he look like when you first met? What was his personality like? Um, he was bubbly, you know, he always liked to giggle and laugh about everything. So, so what are you hoping for? I'm hoping that he regains his confidence, you know, yes. um, and be the person that I met, you know, back yeah. when, and fell in when love we with. first, right, when we, Yes. So, Lloyd, what do you what do you think? The trick is with guys, you want to do the bait and switch. So, you want to find out what they love wearing, and just do better versions of the same uh, thing. Uh, okay. You don't want to put them in a tux if he loves wearing sweatpants. That's right. the trick. Well, let's okay. see what he looked like before. Okay. <laughs> oh wow. But you know, he's an average American guy. Yep. You know, a little extra around the middle. I have that. <laughs> Boris doesn't, of course, because no. I know he does crunches all night. We know how this guy works. <laughs> yes, that's all I do. Little boy. extra around the middle, cargo shorts, you know, socks, and a little crock on the bottom. He's a comfortable, <laughs> average guy. This is how he is right now, you're saying. Yes. This is his depressed, low self-confidence position that he's in right now. Lloyd, sh let's see how your magic worked on Brady now. Come on out. Brady, come on out. Look at Brady. All this new swag.
You know, Brady has a new pose he's been doing all backstage. Show us that hot new swag pose. Yeah, oh, there you he's go. feeling there it because go. what okay. we did here is I ran straight to Men's Warehouse because he is a guy that has a lot to love. You know, he's got a little around the middle. Okay. Most guys have that. So we did monochromatic underneath, mm -hmm. navy blue sweater, dark rinse jeans, so it gives the illusion of a long, clean line. Yeah. He's doing a driving mock on the bottom, sockless. That's fashion short for moccasin. There you go, driving yes. mock on the bottom. He's got the little hat tilted to the side, little pocket square, nice. and a really soft corduroy blazer that he can wear pretty much year round, especially indoors. And look so at that smile. Yeah. Hey, He's a good looking guy. There you, know? you go. You're getting married in August, Brady. Do you think this is going to give you the boost? to get your swag back? Oh, of course. I told him, I said, Lloyd, I play for bread and meat. If I don't win, I don't eat. Ah! <laughs> well, thank you so much, you both, for being here. Let's meet our next guest, Rena. There you go. Hi, Rena. Rena. Have a seat, Rena. Now, Rena, you've been married for six months, right? Yes, yes. And uh, what, what's the issue you seem to be having with your man? Well, my husband is a kindergarten teacher, mm -hmm. and and sometimes he d doesn't dress like one. I mean, I love him so much, but um, but and you can, you, I know you. she's amazing. You can catch Tasha <laughs> on Power on the Stars Network. When we come back, celebrity stylist Lori Boston is going to help two outdated men get their swag back. Don't go away. <laughs> trying to change their man in one way or another. <coughs> <coughs> Especially when it comes to what they're wearing. Mm -hmm. Well, today we have two women who say that not only do their men need a style change, but they're in desperate need of some swag. So we brought in some reinforcement. Please welcome our friend and style expert, Lloyd Boston. Hey. Hey. What's up? Good to be here. <laughs> Well, uh, so Lloyd, I hear you had your work cut out for you today, but um, before we get to revealing the magic you made, let's meet our first guest, Jetta. Hi, Jetta. Hi, Jetta. Jetta, you're about to get married. Yes. yes. <laughs> so what's going on with your fiance, Brady, right now? Well, right now, he's actually in the motion of coming out of his depression. I'm trying to help him you know, with the um, with his appearance, and right now he's really being depressed about how he looks. So you said he, he, he just came out of a depression? What? Yes, um, he wasn't working for a long time. Oh. So well, what did he look like when you first met? What was his personality like? Um, he was bubbly. You know, he always liked to giggle and laugh about everything. So, so what are you hoping for? I'm hoping that he regains his confidence. You know, yes, um, and be the person that I met. You know, back yeah. when and fell in love when we with. first, right when we first. Fell. Yes. So, Lloyd, what do you what do you think? The trick is with guys, you want to do the bait and switch. So you want to find out what they love wearing, and just do better versions of the same ah. thing. Ah. Okay. You don't want to put them in a tux if he loves wearing sweatpants. That's right. the trick. Well, let's okay. see what he looked like before. Okay. Oh, wow. But, you know, he's an average American guy. Yep. You know, a little extra around the middle. I have that. <laughs> Boris doesn't, of course. Because no, I know he does not. crunches all night. We know how this guy works. <laughs> yes, that's all I do. Little extra around the middle, cargo shorts, you know, socks, and a little croc on the bottom. He's a comfortable, well, average guy. This is how he is right now, you're saying. Yes. This is his depressed, low self-confidence position that he's in right now. So, Lloyd, sh let's see how your magic worked on Brady now. Come on out. Brady, come on out. Look at Brady. All this new swag. Oh! Yeah! Woo! There you go. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Lloyd, what did, what, did, what, did, what did you do? You know, Brady has a new 